tournament is down to the final four. And as that ramps up, so does the Daily Show's own bracket tournament, Third Month Mania. We started with the past year's 64 biggest moments of bullshit. And now, thanks to all your votes, we are down to the final eight. So hurry and log on to thirdmonthmania.com and vote for your favorite bullshit. For more on this, <laughs> let's turn once again to our own bullshit bracketologists, Roy Wood Jr. and Michael Costa, everyone. <laughs> Final eight, can you smell that bullshit? <laughs> mm, it stings my yep. nose so good. 64 pieces of bullshit, over yep. 2 million votes, and it all comes down to these last four matchups. We gotta determine the year's greatest piece of bullshit, bro. Yeah, we got two categories. On one side, you got Trump bullshit. On the other side, you got everything else bullshit. Yes, you do. And in the everything else region, it's down to a dramatic finish, oh, yeah. man. First matchup, the conspiracy that the Parkland students are just crisis actors versus Paul Ryan proving that the Republican tax plan is working by showing a woman's $1.50 a week raise. Yeah, that's not an hour, Roy. That's $1.50 a week, which is still more than you get for playing in the NCAA, which is bullshit. Indeed it is. Yeah. But if you save up that $1.50, eventually you can save yourself up enough money to get a box of those generic fruit loops. That's right, from Toucan's... From Toucan Steve. In the other matchup, you have Tucker Carlson saying that America ended slavery around the world versus Bill O'Reilly settling a sexual harassment case for $32 million, even though he says he was innocent. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I believe him. I believe Bill O'Reilly. Okay. Nothing says I'm innocent like spending a film budget to prove it. <laughs> for that amount of money, Bill O'Reilly could have made Get Out seven times. He had Get Out two, Get Out three. Get out four? Yeah, and at that point, it's like, hey, stop dating white women. I don't think that was the point of the movie. That's what I got I, from it. You, 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 let, let's, let's just move on. <laughs> Trump side of the bracket, there are two great matchups on the yep. Trump side, yep. and we've got to break those Is down. Is this because... the team? Oh, my God. It's the president. Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen, it's oh, the president. Oh, oh, oh. Here. Whoa, okay. Wow. Listen. I heard that you guys were calling a bunch of my statements BS. Well, guess what? I love attention, and I want to be a part of it. M Mr. President, it's an honor that you are here. Let's get your analysis right here. The first bullshit in this matchup was when you called your inauguration crowd size <laughs> the biggest inauguration crowd size in history. I'd explain that. Wasn't that incredible? Not only that, I made Sean Spicer repeat it on his first day at work. <laughs> Nuked his career from the very start. Interesting fact about him, he went on to do meth in an Arby's. Fake news. OK, that's... <laughs> I didn't know that. That's clearly, that's clearly more bullshit, but we have to move on. The inauguration crowds, of course, going up against the time you called your response to the Puerto Rico crisis amazing. It was amazing. I tossed out paper towels so beautiful. <laughs> and everyone needs them. Paper towels are like the toilet paper for the floor when you miss the toilet. When you're sliding in the first and your booty starts to burst, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Get him out. <laughs> Incredible analysis, Mr. Yeah. President. Yeah. Incredible analysis. Yeah. Moving on to the second match, a very strong contender. After Charlottesville, you said that there were very fine people on both sides. See, I had to be balanced. I couldn't just praise the Nazis. That would be a bad look. This is my favorite piece of bullshit from you this year, Mr. President. It's when you said that to stop an active shooter, you would personally run into a school without a weapon. Oh, boy. If I were in that school, I would have slipped on my shades, then bad in the bone would have started playing. Then, as soon as I saw the shooter, I would have said, we got company. And then the hot girl would say, you're late. And then I would say, traffic. And then I'd say, Skippy KK, mother fudger. And the car goes boom, and the guns go bang, bang. And the hot girl goes, Donald, me so horny. And the best part is, what? she's not even Asian. She's not even Asian. <laughs> the point is, it's a Christmas movie, folks. You, it, you make a great point, Commander-in-Chief. It's yeah. a Christmas movie, folks. Great yeah. point, yeah. Voting is still open, so go online to thirdmonthmania.com and let us know what's the biggest piece of bullshit, and remember to share your picks with your friends. Yeah. And be sure to watch Make America Great-a-thon, a President Show special, next Tuesday, starring me, the President. How do you have time to shoot a TV special? Back to you, Don Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>